The goal here is to scan the staircase so that it can be navigated when accessing the digital twin as per the example demonstrated on screen. Now, if your site has a staircase, then it also has multiple stories. So we'll also have a look at using the select floors feature to ensure that all levels are included in the same Matterport space, which opens up features like this. Step one, once you have set up the job on your device, the first step is to scan the approach. This is important because a good digital twin simulates a natural walking path. Once this setup is complete, it will be listed as scan one on the scan map. Step two, I can now add floors to my project. Doing it at the start helps you stay organized and follow a predetermined plan. Now that I have created the additional floor, I can move to the base of the staircase. Like any scanning device, accuracy is dependent on scan overlap. So to ensure smooth scan links, start at the bottom and work your way up. The Matterport camera should be aligned with the middle of the staircase. This will be scan number two as shown on the map. The next step is the most crucial. If you get this wrong, the showcase may not process correctly. In order to navigate the stair in the showcase and build the alignments for the floors feature, you should progress up the stairs at three or four step intervals. You should ensure the previous scan is in your line of sight. You can achieve this by ensuring that the camera is positioned above the preceding step as demonstrated on screen. If the viewing angle is perpendicular to the floor, then the navigator won't be able to see the progression circle in the showcase, as shown in this example where I'm unable to navigate up the stairs. Keep the tripod in a safe and stable position and ensure that it's level by using the guide on the tripod. Then it's just a matter, pardon the pun, of following these principles all the way to the top. When you approach the top end of the staircase, click the select floor icon on the app display. In the on-screen example, this is represented by scan number six. Then select new floor. Selection is identified by the tick icon. To ensure the new floor feature works accordingly, I need to ensure that this setup location is visible from the new floor. In the provided example, setup seven represents the new floor. This setup will only use the previous scan, which was setup number six for alignment. So now that I have selected floor two as the new floor, and I have ensured that I can see the previous setup point for scan six, I can go ahead and scan again. And as shown on screen, Matterport has recognized scan seven as the new floor. If I toggle the setting to show the floor below, I see scans six through to one. This is further highlighted in the showcase, where floor one shows the whole staircase from the bottom step to the top step. And if I toggle to floor two, I don't see the staircase at all. Give it a go yourself and let me know what you think. Remember that likes, comments, and subscriptions go a long way in helping me give you more. That's the end of the video. I hope that you learned something new and that you found it interesting. Bye for now.